Good morning, graduates, family, and friends. I am Dr. Holly Martin, and I serve as the Vice President for Academic Affairs at St. Charles Community College. On behalf of the faculty, staff, administration, and board of trustees of, Com of St. Charles Community College, I welcome you to the 2022 St. Charles Community College Commencement Ceremony. Thank you to the SCC Concert Band, directed by Jim Martin, for providing such great instrumental music today. It is my pleasure to introduce the Student Government Association Vice President, Ms. Emily Jesse, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our national anthem, led by the SCC Chamber Choir, conducted by Associate Professor Becky Thorne, and accompanied by Dr. Mihyun Lee. Please be seated as the SCC Chamber Choir performs Ad Astra.
It is my honor to introduce our platform guest, beginning with the St. Charles Community College Board of Trustees, with whom the ultimate responsibility for the governance of the college rests. First, let me introduce Shirley Lomar, president of our Board of Trustees. Next, Rose Mack, Vice President. Mary Stodden, Treasurer. Pam Selick, Secretary. Jean Elman, Trustee. I'd also like to recognize our other trustee who is unable to attend today, Trustee Mike Listener. In addition to the Board of Trustees, I'd like to introduce our president, Dr. Barbara Cavalier. Ms. Amy Kaler, Vice President for Workforce and Community Development and Provost of the Darden Creek Campus. Mr. Dave Leanhouse, Vice President for Student Services. And SCC's 2022 keynote speaker, Dr. Francis Levine. Our student speaker this morning is Jennifer Thomas. The outgoing president of the Faculty Association, Ms. Bryony Carter. Finally, I would like to recognize some other notable people who have joined us this morning. Todd Galbiers, Vice President for Administrative Services. Terry Edrich, Vice President for Human Resources. Martha Campen, Executive Director of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Betsy Schneider, Executive Director of the Foundation and Special Assistant to the President. Dr. Nicole Panair, Associate Professor of Biology and 2021 Faculty of the Year. And Sylvia Bain Malta, Associate Professor of Human Services and 2020 Faculty of the Year. And those are 2022 commencement faculty marshals. And now I'd like to introduce the 2022 student commencement marshals. Lori Harris. And Sarah Harris. And once again, it is my honor to introduce to you all the president of St. Charles Community College, Dr. Barbara Cavalier, who will provide a brief welcome. This year, approximately 800 students have met the academic requirements to become candidates for graduation with an associate degree, and just over 100 students have earned certificate candidacy for a total of approximately 900 degrees and certificates awarded this year, with more than 200 students walking across the stage this morning. As a student at St. Charles Community College, you have gained all the skills and knowledge needed to move to the next level in your educational journey. You have mastered the core competencies of general education. You have improved your writing and computation skills. And no doubt, you have made new friends with whom you will stay in touch with for the rest of your life. You have also connected with many faculty members who have introduced you to the world of higher education and inspired you and transformed you and helped improve your life. By the end of this ceremony, you will be college graduates. You will leave this commencement to begin a new chapter in your life. This next chapter will bring you so many new opportunities, new roles, and new expectations. You may experience a few challenges along the way, but rest assured, we have prepared you well 
to succeed in the next chapter of your life. You have the opportunity to achieve great things, to be a part of shaping our country's future. Graduates, we are so proud of all that you have accomplished. Let's give everyone a round of applause. At this time, I will welcome the provost of our Darden Creek campus up to introduce our keynote speaker, Miss Amy Kaler. We're honored this morning to have Dr. Francis Levine, president and CEO of the Missouri Historical Society and the Missouri History Museum delivering our keynote address. Dr. Levine became the president and the CEO of the Missouri Historical Society and the Missouri History Museum in the spring of 2014. Under her leadership, the organization received its first ever award for diversity, equity, accessibility, and inclusion, given by the American Alliance of Museums. During her time in St. Louis, she's led the successful reaccreditation of the Missouri Historical Society and the successful integration of the Soldiers Memorial Military Museum into the institutional organization of the Missouri Historical Society. She was also named one of the most influential women in business by the St. Louis Business Journal, received a National Urban League Salute to Women in Leadership Award, and the Norman Stack Community Relations Award from the Jewish Community Relations Council. Dr. Levine has also, has also has a passion for community college education. As a former professor of history, anthropology, and visual anthropology, as well as a division head at Santa Fe Community College, she has witnessed the transformation of students just like you. And, and that transformation, uh, as she has seen these students go through during this part of their educational journey. So please join me in welcoming SCC's 2022 commencement keynote speaker. It's truly an honor to welcome to the podium, Dr. Francis Levine. Good morning, graduates. Good morning, President Cavalier, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and guests. I'm honored for the invitation to speak at your historic commencement. It occurred to me as I walked down the aisle that I have walked through many commencements and have been a visitor at many commencements, but I've never been a keynote speaker, so excuse me if I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm so pleased to be with you today. I've always been moved by commencement speeches and by commencement and graduation ceremonies. But your particular class has to be recognized for your historic achievements in these unprecedented times. You have completed your studies and degrees under circumstances that challenge the world in so many ways. Community colleges serve many students and many of them are often first-generation college graduates. That may be true in some cases today, but I venture to say that many of you are the first cohort of graduates who have surmounted so many obstacles that were presented during the pandemic of 2020 and 2021. Your plans may have changed radically during the pandemic, and perhaps you use the unintended space and time to learn new skills. Or maybe you always planned to attend community college because you calculated that the faculty's dedication to teaching and the value of your time would be spent best in this community of learners. You may have completed your high school years but not attended a prom, a graduation ceremony, or a senior trip. You may have had to pivot from the study hall to virtual classrooms. Faculty and college staff have had the same challenges as students in this transition. 
but all of you did this pirouette. I call it a pirouette instead of a pivot because it feels like we are still turning and still adapting. So you've all had to do this pivot in record time, in part because St. Charles Community College faculty and staff had prepared for different scenarios to keep all of you safe from a pandemic or other catastrophic loss of access to the campus. That such a plan would have, been to, would have to be implemented must have seemed improbable at the time that they were planned, but they served you well. The last two years have shown us that planning is crucial, but so is responding to the unintended. We've learned that responding to unexpected situations requires us to be able to separate the evidence of what is happening from the noise of competing information and misinformation. But now we're left with some of the challenges of those competing ideas, and that's where you come in. Right now, more than ever, we need critical thinkers and attuned listeners. We need those thinkers who can listen to evidence as well as the needs and historical experiences of the community. We need medical te technicians and scientists to present facts in a transparent and accurate manner. We need IT professionals to serve across a variety of professions to design software and hardware systems that serve the community in efficient and timely ways and yet can stay responsive to changing circumstances. We need social workers and politicians to collaborate on creative solutions. We need historians for long-term perspective, as well as writers and artists to tell our stories. You may have entered college at a time when your plans were unformed or when you knew exactly what skills you needed for the life you planned. And if your plans were interrupted, how you responded to the difference, how you responded to those challenges made the difference between success and despair. So what's next for you? These last two years of hard work and difficult decisions have prepared you well for the road ahead. It may be long. You may have many more years of education or hard work ahead of you, but it's traveled one step at a time and one day at a time and sometimes one decision at a time. Know that the world needs the academic and social skills that you have learned here at St. Charles Community College. The college's civic action plan is another carefully articulated map preparing and empowering the college community for your roles in leading the larger region, the nation, and even taking a place in the global economy and community. You have You've been expected to embrace your responsibilities, to harness the capacity of the community college. You have been taught to lead and collaborate across disciplines for a socially equitable, just, and sustainable future. You are learning in a community that values diversity, equity, and inclusion. And when you leave here today, you will be commencing on the path of your next education or beginning your career and you will be creating the society we will all live in. We, the community, the region, and the world need your listening, thinking, speaking, and reasoning skills. Wherever you choose to live, and I hope it's here in the Mississippi and Missouri River Valleys because we need committed citizens to shape the future. We need your vision and your commitment of talent and time to make our communities thrive. I look forward to applauding you, accepting the degree that will be handed to you today. And it's not simply a piece of paper. It's an historic document and the key to your future. Open the doors ahead of you with the same commitment and skills that you brought to this day, this day on which you too have made history. Thank you and best of luck, graduates. Thank you, Dr. Levine. We are so lucky that we had you to come speak with us today. Good morning, everyone.
My name is Bryony Carter, and I am an associate professor of English, and I also served as the faculty association president this year. And I'm so honored to have been asked to speak today on behalf of our faculty and to celebrate you, our graduates. As an English professor, I spend a lot of time mulling over the writing process and thinking about writing. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but bear with me. I was recently revisiting one of my favorite books on writing by Margaret Atwood called Negotiating with the Dead, a writer on writing. And she interrogates in it what it means to be a writer and a thinker. In her prologue, she states three questions most often posed to writers, both by readers and by themselves. The first is, who are you writing for? Why do you do it? Where does it come from? Now, she's discussing writing here, but as with so much of what we study in college, this applies broadly. Thus, I revise the questions as we look back on your journey and look forward to the future. Who are you doing this for? Why are you doing it? Where does it, your drive to succeed, come from? You, all of you who are here today about to be recognized for your achievements, you had to ask yourselves similar questions throughout, before and throughout your time at SCC. Your answers were all unique and likely changed several times as you came to know yourself and your goals more clearly over these last few years. Later on in the same book, uh, a few pages later in her prologue, Margaret Atwood notes that Dante Alighieri begins the Divine Comedy with an account of finding himself in a dark, tangled wood at night, having lost his way, after which the sun begins to rise. Virginia Woolf said that writing a novel is like walking through a dark room, holding a lantern which lights up what is already in the room anyway. Atwood then concludes that for many authors, writing involves, quote, an inability to see one's way forward, but a feeling that there was a way forward and that the act of going forward would eventually bring about the conditions for vision. Like writing, claiming your education is a creative act. While all of you graduating today, for all of you graduating today, each of you has had a unique experience. Your choices at SEC have shaped each one of you, changed you, compelled you to be the best versions of yourselves. But as with any creative endeavor, being a student today brings about its challenges. Uh, pursuing your path here at SEC likely seemed labyrinth-like at times. Enrolling in and attending dozens of classes, managing homework, balancing school with your personal and work lives, and reconciling the impact of news current events and navigating the constantly changing remote and virtual landscapes of the pandemic. And let's not forget an entire year and more of mostly remote learning last year. But you met these challenges with empathy, grit, and grace. To go back to Atwood, the act of going forward, no matter what, makes all the difference. Like Atwood, Dante, Wolf, and others, you leapt into the unknown, knowing that your journey would be at times uncertain and challenging, but ultimately rewarding and compelling. To go back to that metaphor of the lantern from Virginia Woolf, you had the strength and vision to illuminate what was already there, your potential. And now you will take what you have learned and the skills you have developed as, like Dante, you emerge from the woods as the sun rises and look forward to the next step, even if that step means going back into the woods to embrace another challenge. No matter what you do next, you will continue to revis revisit the spirit of those key questions. Who are you doing this for? Why are you doing it? Where does it come from? Keep asking yourself, keep challenging yourself, keep staying true to yourself, and the answers will reveal themselves, even if they change over time. Because these things take time. As Margaret Atwood wrote in another essay, if I waited for perfection, I would never write a word. On behalf of my faculty colleagues, I see you, I celebrate you, above all, I admire and champion you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for sharing your talents, your passions, and your dreams with all of us here at SCC. May you always remember that your capabilities are already there. Just light your lantern and look around the room. Congratulations. Thank you for those amazing words again, Brian. That was really, really touched my heart.
Good morning. My name is Dave Leanhouts, and I have the privilege of serving as the Vice President for Student Services here at St. Charles Community College. And it's my pleasure this morning to introduce our student speaker, Ms. Jennifer Thomas. Jennifer is the proud mother of two and the wife of a Cottleville firefighter. When the pandemic began, she made the decision, it's time to go back to college. And after a 20-year layoff, she returned to college. She took time off to support her husband's education and to raise her children, but it was time for her to head back. Jennifer is graduating today with the highest honors and receiving an Associate of Applied Science in Human Services. During her time at SCC, she was a member of the Phi Theta Kappa, and every single semester she was enrolled, she was on the dean's list. She was also the recipient of the 2022 Donald Shillelagh Award for the Outstanding Human Services Student of the Year. Jennifer's next step is to begin her career at the Community Living, where she will serve as a direct support professional at the Kenny Wilson Center for the Adult Daycare Program. At this time, please welcome me in joining our student speaker this morning, Ms. Jennifer Thomas. Wow, guys, forgive me if I start crying. My emotions are all over the place today. Well, class of 2022, I'm going to say the same thing that has pretty much been said at every graduation ceremony that has ever been held. We did it. But our graduation comes with a special title, in my opinion, survivors. We fellow classmates are survivors. Throughout our time here at St. Charles Community College, we have been handed more than just a handful of life-changing events. Between attending virtual classes, to returning to campus, to wearing masks, and finally being able to take them off was quite a roller coaster of its own accord. I will forever remember seeing my classmates and professors' faces for the first time after interacting with them on screen for so long. It was a breath of fresh air. Literally. I was finally able to enjoy the typical college experience where classmates were not just random snippets on my computer screen, but living, breathing humans. But what many do not witness is the personal trials and tribulations that each of us have been through to get where we are today. Although each and every one of us has different pasts and different futures, we all have this in common. We did it. We came, we conquered, we survived. No matter if you are young, old, a first-time college student, a returning student, parent, mom, dad, son, daughter, sibling, just to name a few, you can now add graduate to the list of adjectives that are used to describe you. Be proud of what you have accomplished here. Be proud of how far you have come, all while making the necessary sacrifices to do so. Personally, I have sacrificed many things to be standing here today. I have sacrificed more family dinners and get-togethers than I can count, my children's sporting events, girls' nights, countless hours of sleep, and most of all, any little piece of sanity that I had when I started this journey. For most of my adult life, I have put my family first and my education on the back burner. As the years went on, returning to school was just a far-off dream that I would maybe one day come back to until COVID. Just as everyone else in this room has had to do, I took a long, hard look at my life and decided it was time for a change. I realized that it was okay for me to follow my dreams and aspirations, that my family would accept and support the changes that come with returning to school, and most importantly, I wanted to show my children that no matter how distant or unrealistic our goals and dreams can be, that as long as you put your heart and soul into it, you can achieve it. Anything worth doing requires determination and sacrifice. But it was all worth it. Every hour of missed sleep due to studying or finishing assignments, every second of stress waiting on grades to be submitted, every dollar spent on classes and books, it was all worth it. As you look to the future, be proud of those sacrifices and wear them as a badge of honor. Take some time to enjoy the parts of your life that have been aside for so long so that you could be here today. Thank those who have been there to support you throughout this journey and congratulate yourself for, for surviving this roller coaster that is college. Apply the knowledge and experience that you have earned here at SCC to your next goal, dream, or adventure. Continue onward and upward 
and never stop chasing your dreams. To all of the professors who have supported myself and all of my fellow students, I would like to say thank you for your own sacrifices that you have made to ensure our success. And to my fellow class of 2022 graduates, I would like to say congratulations. We survived and we did it. Thank you, Jennifer. At this time, we will proceed with the presentation of Associate of Arts, Associate of Fine Arts, Associate of Arts in Teaching, Associate of Science, and Associate of Applied Science degrees, as well as the Certificates of Achievement and Certificates of Specialization. I will also ask our Board of Trustees President Lomar and St. Charles Community College President Cavalier to join us with the presentation of degrees and certificates to the candidates. As a safety precaution, we will not be shaking hands during this ceremony. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Darren Osborne, Professor of, professor of Communication, who will be announcing the names of degree and certificate candidates. Will the first row please stand and follow the directions of our commencement marshal to receive your certificates and diplomas. Megan Siebensinger, Honors. Lauren Brock, I Honors. Clara Bruno, Honors. Rebecca Carroll. Parker Cook. Catherine Fortrees. Desiree Cox. Alexandra Decker. Pablo Giorgio de Madera's Costa. <coughs> Olivia Sullivan de Rubis. Yeah. 
Paris Aikman. Jennifer A. Downing. Caitlin Mugui, honors. Abigail E. Bates, honors. Anthony J. Fortner, high honors. Allison Gifford. Nathan Goodlett. Tristan Gonzalez. Brianna Renee Grappen Reed. Tatum Green, honors. Nathan M. Hamilton, high honors. Victoria Hart, high honors. Lily A. Harmon. Lisa M. Hedrick. Alexis T. Hidalgo. Julie M. Latko. Jacqueline Nealoran, high honors. Cheyenne M. Jackson. Maya E. Johnson, high honors. Faith N. Casper. Jessica Mary Kwasnika, high honors. Simone Likul, highest honors. Justin M. Lindsay, honors. <laughs> Kaylee A. Lohr. <laughs> Alyssa Lukey, honors. <laughs> Zainab H. Malusi. Ethan Bradley Markovich. Malachi Marshall. Cassandra Rose Mockenheimer, honors. Sarah E. May. Heather Nicole McClanahan. Paige C. Menzi, honors. Kiara Marie Morell. Haley Mayer.
Rachel Melvin. Victoria Nolter. Sandeep Panta, highest honors. Hannah A. Pyle, highest honors. Olivia G. Reed. Tiffany Lynn Rhodes. Taylor E. Reef. Cassandra E. Rodriguez de Anda. Lauren A. Rivelto. Anna E. Rydberg. Travis Chesky. Stephanie Schneider Betterding. Rose C. Shiflet, honors. Cheyenne H. Siddle, honors. Mackenzie R. Silver. Amber K. Tison. Jordan Taylor Theohar. Jennifer Taylor Teeley. Joshua D. Thomas, honors. Brianna M. Trail. Shane A. Utley. Valentin Vallejo. Augustina Valeroy. Amber A. Vitali. Megan Walkenhorst, honors. Maya Michelle Walker, high honors. Lily K. Warden, highest honors. Kyle Weinhold, high honors. Brett Wilhelm.
Jetta L. Williams. Louis Willis Faulkner. Caleb Matthew Woods. Jade M. Wooten, High Honors. Ashley B. Wright, High Honors. Marin B. Shu, Highest Honors. Presenting candidates for Associate of Fine Arts, Brooke Lee Borkhart, High Honors. <laughs> Alexis Buck, Honors. <laughs> Haley and Dennis, Honors. Elizabeth G. Dunn, High Honors. Luke J. Feldman. Theodore E. Rosen, Rosen, Highest Honors. Brian Fritz. <laughs> Amelia E. Gossett, highest honors. Hunter Hayes, highest honors. Caitlin Sue Jacobson. <laughs> Olivia Margaret Meyer Mishka. Chi <laughs> Lee Gwen. Connor D. Wynn. Juanita Villegas, high honors. Ashla Rebecca Early, highest honors. Dylan J. Franks, highest honors. <laughs> Jenna Meredith Margaret Game, honors. <laughs> Jessica Madison Marie Game, honors. McKenna B. Jorn. Emily Joseph. Brandon Lee Marshall. Paige Mooney, honors. Mackenzie C. Taylor, honors. <laughs> Abigail N. Womhoff.
Hannah N. Bird Honors. Sadipa Chowdhury, High Honors. Ellen R. Copeland, Honors. Kristen N. Cote, High Honors. Clara Don Delaha. Zachary Kenneth Dunkman. Janessa M. Duran, honors. Katrina Marie Field. Allison Flynn, honors. Ashley Nicole Greeley, high honors. Isaiah Green, honors. Heather Gundry, honors. Rebecca L. Habiger, high honors. Robert S. Hyman, Jr., honors. Max Hoffman, honors. Eamon Jawade, high honors. Jordan M. Jones, Honors, and the Associates of Nursing. <laughs> Nicole Jones. <laughs> Caleb S. Kemper. Gretchen Teresa Leahy, High Honors. Emily McConnell, Honors. Caitlin Mimi McGrail, High Honors. Kelly N. Menzi, Honors. <laughs> Natasia A. Miles, High Honors. <laughs> Markel Nicole Perry. M. Reagan. <laughs> Jacob A. Rolfes. <laughs> Sarah E. Samuelson, high honors. Johnny S. Scudero. Miranda Talshak, highest honors. <laughs> Abigail M. Westerfeld. <laughs> M.
Noah J. Wong. Now presenting candidates for Associate of Applied Science, Abigail Morgan Adams. Maxwell D. Adamski. Amani Awadala, honors. Abby R. Battles. Christopher Balmer. Shannon N. Brown, honors. Rachel Lynn Bunton, honors. Kimberly A. Bird. Christina E. Carrera Bernal, honors. Cheryl Cassaberry, honors. Callie Brooke Clark, honors. Taylor and Barrow Coffin, honors. Samantha M. Doherty. Luke S. Ellerbrook. Jonathan J. Gentle, honors. Luke D. Hammond, honors. Danielle R. Kuntz, highest honors. Laura Lanau, high honors. <laughs> Alyssa Matlock, honors. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Mills, high honors. <laughs> Jihoon Park, honors. Charnay Parker. Adam P. Putnam. Crystal Rain. Matthew W. Reynolds, honors. Nicole A. Roberts. Justin B. Singer. Eric A. Schlockich. Zaid M. Bell. <laughs> Jennifer Lori Thomas, highest honors. <laughs> Clarissa L. Thorne. Nicholas J. Trim. Caitlin M. Wade, honors.
Aubrey M. Williams. Honors. Laney A. Worthland, highest honors. Leslie A. Wright. Ethan D. Lawson. Kahoga Ugamwa. Sarah B. Petty. Will the graduates please stand? Madam President, I present to you the St. Charles Community Cl College Class of 2022. Graduates, you have completed the requirements for your associate degree or certificate. On the recommendation of faculty and administration of St. Charles Community College, and by virtue of the authority vested in me through the Board of Trustees in the Missouri Higher Education Coordinating Board, I hereby confer upon each of you your respective degree of Associate of Arts, Associate of Fine Arts, Associate of Arts and Teaching, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, Certificate of Achievement, and Certificate of Specialization with all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining thereunto. Graduates, you may now move your tassel on the cap from the right to the left. Congratulations, <laughs> class of 2022. This is all for you, all for you. <laughs> okay. Now that your degrees and certificates have been officially conferred, I think it is an it's appropriate to recognize those in attendance who contributed to your success. Graduates, please offer our faculty and staff of St. Charles Community College assembled here a round of applause. And I have one last request. None of you would be here without the support of your loved ones. Wherever your family's sitting, please turn, make eye contact, and say thank you for helping you. Great job. Congratulations again, graduating class of 2022. We're so proud of you. Dr. Martin?
As we begin our recessional, the stage party will be exiting first, followed by the faculty, and finally the graduates of 2022. Audience, please stand with the recessional music and remain standing in your place until all the graduates have exited. Thank you for joining us today in our celebration.